Hi, I'm Aiden Taylor and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be decorating my bookcases for Halloween and I am very excited. Do also just want to take a moment to say thank you all so much for all of the love on my last video. I know you guys really loved the tutorial and I do absolutely plan on doing more tutorials in the future. They do take quite some time to make so I'm not exactly sure when the next tutorial is going to be out. I do plan on doing a couple for October. I have waited a lot later than I normally do. I usually decorate around the beginning of August. It is finally September. It feels amazing outside. I am super excited. I've already gotten everything pretty well pulled off the shelf other than a few things up here. But for now, we're just going to be relaxing and working on decorating this bookshelf. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start clearing off the rest of this up here. I have already made a trip to the storage unit and I retrieved all of my Halloween things other than my village because I could not fit it all in my car. All right, enough yapping. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to be removing all of my leftover decor from my summer shelf display. Um, I'm just going to be packing all of this up into the same bins that I unpack my Halloween out of because it's just easier for me and then when Christmas comes around, I can just switch it over. As I began removing the items off of the top shelf, I started replacing them with the larger items that I knew for sure were going to go up here. I honestly didn't really have much of a plan as to how I wanted this to look or what I wanted to go where, so I really just had to move everything around multiple times until I found a good spot for everything. It was right about now when I realized that my magical wizard puppet was sadly going to have to go, but it's okay because he will be making a comeback at Christmas time. Next I dusted the shelves and it was time to start unpacking. I started by unpacking my Johanna Parker collection as well as my other vintage inspired decorations. Sadly I was not able to display all of my decorations this year as I have just too many to display in one room, but luckily I was able to display all of my most favorite pieces. I don't know about you all, but unpacking my decorations is quite possibly the most exciting part of this holiday for me. I just love that feeling of it's finally Halloween time and it's really nostalgic because as a kid I always got so excited when it was time to bring in the bins of Halloween decorations. So I'm starting off by setting all of my larger items on this top shelf and sort of arranging them in a way that I think looks nice. I knew that these pieces are going to take up a lot of space. They're very big and bulky. So the top shelf was really the only place that I could fit them. I then hung up this autumn leaf garland across the top shelf, but I actually ended up removing this later. One, because I had another use for it, and two, I just wasn't super happy with how it looked. I felt that it kind of blended in with the pumpkins on the top shelf. You'll also see what I ended up using this garland for later on in the video. Now, as you can see here, I am starting to arrange my Johanna Parker collection on this middle shelf. I honestly had quite a hard time fitting all of these in here, but I'm really, really happy with how they turned out in the end. Um, I actually used quite a few brass candle holders that I had thrifted from antique stores, and I used those as pedestals to raise up some of the pieces in the back, such as the mugs and whatnot. They sit really nicely on top, and it just helps helps give it height so that it has this busy stacked look to the shelves and I'm really happy with how these turned out.
Next, it was time to start unboxing the village, and I also really look forward to this part every year. Um, I have selected a few of my favorite trick-or-treat houses. Um, this is probably less than half of my collection, but since I'm working with limited space, I decided to just do the haunted houses and the trick-or-treat houses, and I'm really happy with that decision. I love how these look on my shelves this year. Um, these are some of my most prized pieces in my collection, and I'm just really happy that I got to display them. Now it's time to start setting up the houses and figuring out the layout. And when I'm doing this, I like to think about how the houses are going to look once they are lit up. You know, some of them appear darker, some of them appear brighter. Um, some are just a bulb and some have LED lights. So I like to think about that when I am trying to lay out my village. So that way, once they are all lit up, it looks cohesive and put together. Once I had them all positioned, I went ahead and ran their cords off camera, and I ran all of them to the very middle of the shelf, and then attached them all together with some pipe cleaners, and then I used those pipe cleaners to attach this garland so that I could hide the cords with this sort of autumn floral arrangement running down the center of the shelf. Next, I strung up these black creepy cloths and I sort of draped them up towards the ceiling. Um, I was sure to not let them hang down in front of the village too much because it was hiding quite a lot of the detail of the houses. So I strung them up towards the ceiling and then I also added some vintage paper garlands hanging from the ceiling in front of all of this. And I'm really happy with how this turned out actually. Sadly, I didn't get any video of me hanging up the garlands, but you'll see it at the end. Then I found this strand of orange twinkle lights and I began weaving those in throughout my Johanna Parker collection because I felt with the village lit up above and below it, it just seemed really dark and it was kind of disappearing. So I decided it needed some lights and these were perfect for that. And I had just enough left on this strand to run it across the shelf. I actually really like how this looked. It kind of reminds me of a old Halloween carnival circus kind of vibe. And next up it was time to add all of the accessories to the village, which this is honestly one of my favorite parts of setting up the village. I love adding in the trees and the bushes and the moss and the people. Um, I actually have quite a lot of figurines that I wasn't able to fit in anywhere, um, but I luckily was able to fit quite a few into this display. Um, I think this part is when the village really starts to come to life and look like a real neighborhood and I, I just love it. And now that the village has all of its accessories, we are finally finished, and I couldn't be happier. I really hope that you guys enjoy the big reveal, and thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to talk to you again soon. I've got some really fun videos coming up, and I'll see you all next time. Happy haunting!